Please remember to hit like and subscribe and perhaps even become a member or patron to support the channel. Also, I want to give a super special shout out to all my awesome tier 3 members and patrons, Riptide, Anik D, Z Wandra, Matthew Hall and Charlene Kelly for their amazing support. It really helps and means a lot. Hey guys and welcome back to Simulator I Always UK Mod. If my mic sounds a bit weird, I do apologize. For some reason, my mic is picking up interference. Uh, the filters are useless, basically. Um... I just said one thing so my voice might cut out here and there slightly and hopefully that doesn't happen. But yeah, uh, I want to show you guys a few things. Um, I decided to face the Day 21 Horde off camera. Just because we're not ready for anything, I need to kill zombies, get stuff done. I just might get my quest a little bit further and then we can do it together. As you guys can see over there, I decided to spend Day 21 there. I took out the bottom rung on the ladder on the silo. Spent the night in there, and then there was like a Titan Spider, a Titan Hazmat. There were so many Titans there. They destroyed that place, and I had to run up and hide up there. Now, I'll show you guys the, uh, the screenshots in a moment. It actually really helped. It worked really, really well. Um, as you guys can see, this is a screenshot or two. And then also, I died. Now, the reason I died was there was another Juggernaut. For some reason, the Juggernauts, even though you can't see them, they know exactly where you are. They just shoot and the explosions around you kills you instantly. But the nice thing is, look what I found. So now that we have this schematic, we'll be able to go and do whatever we can undo. Uh, let me just please kill this thing. But yeah, now that we have the chainsaw schematic, we can do what we want to do. The only thing is, um, I actually just bought, on day 23, I bought a... Chainsaw over here. So we don't have to make one. Also, since I went like three and a half, four in-game hours, or real life hours rather, real life hours in Darkest Falls, and I went and I arranged all the cars and all the lights, I decided to do the same here. Because in Darkest Falls, I got quite a few uh, augers and chainsaws and stuff. But I didn't get a single chainsaw or auger in any of the cars. I didn't even get a drone. Now, this one over here, I had to buy for 3,200 or something from the trader. And then this one we bought for like, uh, this one was cheap actually. I can't remember, I can't remember if it was like thousand or a few hundred, but yeah. The ch uh, so they sold this one, now we don't have to make one. And while I was out of here, I was like, you know what, we're going to need space. We're going to need storage for this thing. So I bought this as well. Uh, I think that one was like 1.5. As you guys can also see, we have an HD double barrel shotgun. And that's because we finished, I already placed it down, the Psychopath vending machine. Or the uh, Psychopath class. The Psychopath video, guys, that don't know, is uh, where you kill a ton of animals. Uh, after killing like 100 animals, you had to kill zombies, and that actually really went fast. I thought we were going to need HD weapons, but I just killed them with this double barrel, and that was enough. I don't with the double barrel, with my pump shotgun, and I've got the double barrel. There you go. <laughs> I'm already, I'm, you can see it's tired. I'm tired. It's Sunday morning, quarter past eight, and now I'm recording. <laughs> I'm a little tired. Also, as you guys can see, I did a little bit of sorting. Drinks, food, farming, meds, weapons, parts, mods, ammo, and ammo parts. Uh, power tools, tools, and you know, we just quickly put the power tools over here. So now we have two. We can actually scrap one because you're only going to need one. Oh, nice. It gave you gas back. Nice, nice. Okay, um, but yeah, we need power tool parts now, or rather tool parts. As you guys can see, we only have 5. We need 10 to make the HD auger, and then 10 more to make the HD chainsaw. So I'm going to go to the trader now again, see if they have another chainsaw or two for me, and then do a few quests in hopes of getting enough cash to be able to afford it. Um, yeah, up. as you guys can see, yeah, 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 you have to be silent. I'm going to show, uh, show you guys this quickly. This and this was from all the cars. Now, since I arranged all the cars in this town... I am not going to be wrenching any more cars. I even went and explored it, but there's another town over there. I'm not going to be wrenching any other cars in this town except if a quest clears it. So if it's part of a PRI that, I, that I'm doing, then we'll uh, we'll, we'll uh, wrench the cars again. But for example, over there, if a, if a car respawns, we're not going to loot it. Because I'm playing with loot respawn off, so cars that regen infinitely, uh, infinitely is just a little bit of a cheat in my opinion. Okay, uh, I need to make sure I'm full on gas and stuff. Cars, vehicles. As you guys can see, we actually have a ton of gas as well. Like 114,000. That's a lot. I filled up my vehicles and stuff already. Uh, I need a storage mod for you. Drone storage mod. Uh, Fireforge steel. I think you can only hold one mod, right? 
Let me just quickly pick you up. Modify. Please tell me you can hold two mods. Yes. So we can put, uh, put two space mods on. Although, isn't this my game or the other game that actually have mods for it? Isn't Darkest Falls? Okay, Darkest Falls actually already have mods for a uh, drone, but we just never got drones. So I can't wait for Darkest Falls to be able to get some... Oh, crap. I can't wait for Darkest Falls to be able to get a drone there. Now, I just realized the bear went down there and never came up. I want to go check out the trader, but if there's a bear down there, I have a little bit of a problem, man. But yeah, we're going to keep the uh, shotgun slugs on this gun, because it does way more damage than this one. And then... Oh, no, not really. Wait, what? 156? This one does 17 damage. So it's 170 total. This one does... 165 damage, damn. Uh, look, this is way more localized. It kills one zombie on the spot. This spreads the, the 10 pellets. But I really thought that this gun's going to be way more powerful. Okay, anyways. Uh, doo -doo -doo, drones. Uh, now that I actually sorted the inventory a bit over here, I'm a little bit confused as to what goes where. Also, as you guys can see, we have a ton of steel, and this is from all the lampposts. But once again, uh, at least the lamp posts, uh, lamp posts don't regen, so we don't have to worry about that. But I need to make sure that if I've done something once in the game, I'm not going to do it again. Okay, so I'm guessing 20 of this. What else? Um, I need 8 electrical and 8 mechanical. Now, there are still la lamp posts out there that I need to go wrench. Uh, the black ones. Because they also give you electrical parts and stuff. But for now, I'll just leave that be. Oh, is that bear? Come on, I need to kill you. If I can get its attention and get it to come over to me, I won't have to go downstairs and fight it. Although at this stage, I might just have to jump down and see if I can't shoot it. Okay, run, run, run. Ooh, what did I just do? What did I just do? Run, 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 run. I got turned around. That was bad. <laughs> okay, so we need our thing of the year. We're going to make ourselves a drone mod. There you go. We still need to do everything else. Also, guys, it seems the robotic drone is under the robotic drone schematic. But in Darkest Falls, it's under Scientist Law. So, yeah, um, I need to stop spoiling that as well because I'm going to do that next. After I record these seven episodes, I'm going to start recording Darkest Falls. It's a shame that Darkest Falls comes out second. Oh, nice. Okay, we don't have to kill any more animals because, yeah, we killed all 100 for the quest. Did you drop something? Yeah, I did. What did it drop? Wait, how did the bear drop loot and stuff? That's weird. Also, guys, do you know how hard it was? It was incredibly hard going for all the lampposts. That's why it's already day 24. Um, basically, those giant demolishers, they, yeah, they hit stick over this thing, basically. Um, they're so fast, and they can sense you. Say he's on the roof over there. He actually starts running at you already. That's how far the giant demolishers can reach or sense you. That's insane. Okay, so, drone. Uh, let's just see. That's going to take uh, not that long. But yeah, I want to see. Can we do, how many quests can we quickly complete? Because I have a ton of resources now. I also went and I bought some chilies from the trader. I want to go back into the trader and see now with the day 24 if it's reset enough to give me more stuff. But we don't really have enough cash left. Only 192 or something. So we need way, way, way more cash. And the only way to do that is to go by doing some quests for the trader. Okay, now at least we're going to have like 20 something space on our drone. And we'll be able to loot more without having to come back every now and then. We also have the Where's UK. Startup vehicle. sequence activated. Okay, let's see. Storage. Yeah, look at that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 36 extra slots right there. Okay, we're going to put the armor mods away for now. I think we have the best ones on us currently. Uh, there might be better ones out there, but at the moment, the ones we have on are actually kind of good. Now, uh, before we go, let me just check this quickly. Bruiser, we need to create the sledgehammer. I still don't have the sledgehammer schematic, unfortunately. Sledgehammer. Yeah, we still need the schematic. That sucks. We can't complete Bruiser because we need that schematic. Uh, craft HD Auger. We need five motor tool parts to be able to do that. Um, let, we should be able to do the food one quickly and then also the HD cells. So, 
Craft HG Desert Eagle. I think the Desert Eagle we also don't have the uh, recipe for. Yeah, that sucks. Both the guns we have to create right now, we can't create. Okay, so uh, let's see which one's first. Let's do the cooking class first. I, th I think we're going to get stuck on this one again. Meat, animal fat, and chili. So it's meat, animal fat, and chili. As you guys can see, we have so much uh, raw meat. Yeah, we have like 1,200 raw meat thanks to the animal kill quest that I did you. Okay, and then we need to do it in the cooking fire over here. Let's raise something there. One, two, three, four, five. And done. There you go. Uh, old sham sandwiches. Yeah, we, we should have this one. Yes. This is the one where I always struggle with because I never have it on me. And this time around, we do. So let me just do this. Enable. What do we need? Wait. What do we need for this one? Lamb rations. Ooh, we need 10 lamb rations. Please tell me we have them. Oh, we only have seven. Are you kidding me? Okay, uh, we're gonna have to buy from the traders as well then. Also, guys, some of you have been asking me why do I buy from the traders when the vending machines are cheaper? But basically, I buy from both. Um, if there's a good stuff in the vending machines, I buy them there. If it's in the trade, I buy the I buy it there. Oh, we don't have enough cash right now to buy food. Uh, is there anything I can sell at the moment? Mods and stuff you have to put on clothing to sell, so that's not gonna work. Uh, weapons? Ooh, I might be able to sell these things. Nice. So if I were to go and repair this one, that's 400. Okay, we should be able to get a nice amount of cash for that one. Perhaps this one as well. I wonder, we should have enough parts to make the sledge, right? I think I should just keep this one just in case we need some parts. Okay, we might be able to use that one. This one, we're going to scrap for parts. Okay, so that for now is all we're going to sell. And we have the shotgun auto turret over here for our horde base. That is a compound crossbow. Yeah, this one's way weaker, so I can sell this one. Please tell me I'm going to get enough cash for this. And please tell me there's no other bears in here. Imagine. <laughs> I only saw the one go in here and I die. Okay, so food. Rations. Yes, yes, yes. Did I just hear... Yeah. I could have sworn I just heard another bear outside. If it runs down here, I'm screwed. Steel tool parts? Ooh, chainsaw, 6,000. Damn. Yeah, the level 1's like 1 point something, so that's easy enough to, or cheap enough to buy. I used up all my cash just buying a few things I have right now. Drone armor plating schematic? No, thank you. Much Probably just see what made that noise. The problem is the bears are so white, they actually mix into the background sometimes. I definitely thought I heard like a rrr, rrr, grunting sound. Great weather we've been having. And now that the drone's in the game as well, um, I'm going to constantly think that something's jumping down to me, but it's a drone hitting floors and stuff. Oh, there's so much stuff that I want to still buy and invest in. And oh man, the buggy. I wonder what the buggy looks or like how it performs. I know apparently it has a lot of space. But other than that, is it really good or not? Oh, I need the schematic as well. Lucky looter. There's so much stuff. We just don't have the cash right now to just waste. Okay, uh, chili dogs. Why not? Potatoes. You have corn. Okay. I need lamb. I need two more lamb, I think. Money in here, are you? Yeah, we just need two more lamb rations. Come on, please, please, please. Large beef, chicken. I have this, I just have this inkling uh, that we're going to have to go out and don't loot and look for some food that out. way. Come on, if you don't have, then so, I have to go. What are you buying today? We literally just need two more lamb rations. Come on. Lamb ration. Oh, damn it. Okay, that's not enough. Oh, wait, the vending. Uh, we don't have the food vending machine yet. I was like, oh, yes, the vending machine has it. Damn it. No, it does not. <laughs> Chainsaw 1.3. There you go. So it's, it was cheap enough, that's why I bought the one, but now we need space, we need more stuff. Uh, the thing is also, we need the, we need to actually buy the level 1s to scrap them, because it seems we're not going to get the tools over here. Unfortunately, the tools are... Well, the <laughs> tool parts are never in the inventory over here. I'm glad I could help you. You don't really help me at all, lady. Not at all. Okay, so we need one more lamb ration. For now, we're going to have to put that stuff away, though. I mean, if we can't complete it now, what's the point? Okay, so we have the coins in us. Uh, what we could also do 
HD shell, uh, cell. Yeah, yeah HD cells. You need to make this and this. Let's see, forge steel 20. It's per cell. At least we have a ton of this stuff. Nice. Okay, oil we're gonna need a ton of, and duct tape we need a ton of. Oh, uh, we should have enough. Okay, so do that, do that. We need some steel over here. Uh, obviously the battery or the other engine. No, it is the batteries. The batteries themselves. I'm gonna take the weakest ones. I don't know if it's gonna be necessary, the quality for something else. But for now, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So from here. I'll back down to the right just now. Okay, that's the cell. And then what else do we need? Scrap polymers. Nice. But yeah, now all I need to do is actually make the HD things. It's a shame we don't have any more workbenches over here. So we need to make six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then, yeah, I'm going to cut away and see you guys in about two minutes. Okay, so that was more like three minutes. But now we have the HD generator as well. So um, I think you have to actually place this down. I wonder if you can actually pick it up later as well. You need to place this down for the quest to actually finish. But the problem is, yeah, we're going to have to pick this up and move it to our actual horde base later. Now, for now, we do that. We put these away. Look at that. 38,000 watts. You know how much you can power that? Okay. HD schematic. We can put the machine down. Okay, what else did we get? Blade traps. So now we're going to put that away as well. Let's put that with weapons. Okay, and door traps. And then this will be a ground mine. I think we're going to use during horde nights. This, however, we're going to use to open up uh, chests and stuff. So we're going to lock 15 of that. Technically, we don't need the time charges for the time being because we have this stuff. Um, Yeah. Let's for now just put that away. Technically, that's an ammo, so I'm going to put that under ammo. Boom, boom. Okay, so that was the engineer class done. Come on. Okay, so we have the bruise left, but we need a schematic for the steel sledge. We have the boulder left, but we need five tool parts. Cooking class, we just need one, just one um, lamb. Uh, well, then again, there's a second half to this thing as well, so I don't know if we're going to need something else. Gunman, unfortunately, we need the Desert Eagle, and then, yeah. I think for the Gunman one, this is where you need the HD guns to kill. That's why I, the way I get confused. The Psycho one, you just had to kill animals. Or I also had to kill some zombies, but you just, you just kill them. Um, but with the gunman one, you have to use the HG guns, or perhaps at least make the HG guns and then just kill animals. In Alpha 19, you actually have to use the gun you make to kill zombies. Yeah. You see, my brain is so tired, I'm mixing words. But yeah, you need you needed the gun to kill the zombies, so they just allowed you to make it. But now, you after you craft the gun, it seems you can use any gun to kill the zombies, or perhaps the psychopath one is now the zombie killing one, and this is just crafting guns. I just know that for level 1, we just crafted a gun and that was it. I can't remember we actually actually go and kill some zombies. That's weird. Okay, anyways, uh, I am getting stuck here now. We need to go do quests. The nice thing is because of multi-trader, we have a multitude of tests in there or quests in the area. Um, tier 5, I think we'll do next episode. For now, where's the other tier Oh, there's two tier 5s. Yeah, I forgot about that. I wonder how long it's going to take to actually go through the tier 5 over there. But now let's just do the tier one fetches. Um, and then we'll see next episode. We might be able to next episode do two level fives. It all depends on how fast we're actually able to do it. Okay, guys, look at the damage over here. I'll show you guys this. This is where I faced the day 21 horde. They utterly and totally uh, annihilated this over here. Also, um, full disclosure, guys, the horde knights are back on 100% damage. 150 was just too much. I mean, already look at this. I'm going to show you guys this. I stood right about here. Okay, he could have shot me from the back, but I didn't see any signs of any Juggernaut and just instantly died. They just, uh, the, the explosions from the Juggernaut, even if it's not a direct hit, it kills you instantly. So I need to design a ward base that's going to withstand explosions. And I don't know how I'm going to do that. I had an idea of a ward base that I wanted to try, but it's not going to work with the Juggernaut being able to shoot through blocks. Or shoot exactly where you are at that block. Kind of a bear. We have enough meat, so we don't have to stop for you right now. I'm just really not a big fan of these giant demolishers. Feral sense as well, guys. I feel like putting feral sense off. 
The fact that a demolisher, a giant demolisher can literally be standing at that house over there. When I'm here, it senses me. That is way too far away in my opinion. Okay, um, ooh, it's been a while since we've done one of these houses. Wait, did I just see... I thought I saw a zombie over there. One of the bosses. There's some zombies to the back, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, should probably just grab all the resources. And that's about... Oh, we need to loot the kitchen. I need to loot the kitchen. Anything back here? Nope. Is that a dog or is that a wolf? Oh, wow. What? Where did you come from? John, don't die from dumb reasons right now. You can see, guys, when you haven't played for a whole week, you get out of the swing of things. It's so easy to forget how to play. You make really dumb mistakes. I need to work on my looting skill as well so we are able to instantly loot these things. Now, the fetch quest is definitely downstairs, but what's up here again? I know there's something up here. Now we have to fall down. Okay. What if I do this? Oh, we're infected. I just realized that as well. Stand still. This gun is powerful, but you actually need to do a headshot or two for it to work. I'm actually getting the whole neighborhood involved as well. Um... There's a downstairs. Oh! Why do I keep getting hit today? It's like I'm not focused at all or focused enough. Okay, 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 okay. Bye bye. John, get you a hit in the game. There's just way too many close calls at the moment. I usually don't get this close to dying in this mod. Darkest Falls is a different matter. I've been dying way too many times in Darkest Falls. Damn, John. Okay, uh, come on. I need it. I just need lamb. If I can see a vending machine, so I should actually start marking them on the map as well. I need one large lamb ration, that's about it. And then I can finish the... Ooh, what was that? What was that? Chicken ration, damn it. I know it's just a fetch quest, but I might actually be able to get some awesome stuff. That's why I'm just looting everything. I should probably start creating the other schematics. I know you can craft them. Hello. One of the few times I actually remember that there is a key thing over there. We'll even fetch or finish this quest. I could use a C4, but it's gonna blow this whole apartment apart. That's how powerful the C4 is. I'm actually going the wrong way around, aren't I? Usually you'd actually come up from the other side. You'd actually come up here from that side around. Oh, hello. This makes it so much easier for me. Thank you. Come on, show me Ed. Oh, that door's almost destroyed. <laughs> okay, so, uh, let's see. I'm actually getting used to this one, two, three, stop. Okay, uh, do we have any skill points to spend? Yes, we have 12. Yes, we have 12. Okay, so lucky looter. I'm gonna max that one out. Then I'm gonna go over here. Memorizations maxed out already. That's XP. Um, loot Gobbo. I wanna max this one out as well. Now, with Loot Gobbo maxed out, that means we're gonna loot faster. Look at this 25% loot bonus. Uh, and you loot 12% faster. That's nice. Crypto is what? Uh, that's basically your trading skills. Where's the shotgun? Okay, I need to go into my shotgun skill a little bit more over here. See, these skills are actually still really surprisingly low. So I need to start investing in my strength a bit and get my shotgun all the way maxed. If my shotgun's all the way maxed, we might be able to do some really good damage to these zombies. At the moment, I feel like we're doing just way too little uh, damage. There should be a crawler or something over here. Oh, oh no. Ooh. 
That scared the ever living crap out of me. That was my uh, drone next to me just now. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Okay, so the fetch is upstairs. Wait, what? We pass it. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forget sometimes there's actually final stashes or gun stashes and stuff in there as well. Now, where's the final loot? It's definitely down here, right? I need to make sure we gather as much resources as possible. Because soon I want to build my ward base. The problem is we don't have enough... If we can just finish the boulder class, we'll have enough resources. Okay. Uh, so we usually come through here. We run up here. Go through this door and we go up. Final stash. Okay, cool. I knew it was here somewhere, but I couldn't remember exactly where. It's a shame there's no crowbars in this game. That'd be so damn cool. Okay, uh, SMG auto turret. Thank you, thank you, thank you, lamb. Come on, I need lamb. There's one portion of lamb that would be awesome. Ooh, that's not bad. Yes, 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 yes. Now we just need three more. Ooh, if we had one crappy, uh, auger, oh no, chainsaw, for example, I can actually just scrap that. Nice, okay. Uh, mashed potatoes, let's eat that. Our health is not looking that great. I need to start healing as we go as well. Okay, and then, yeah, let's just get you through. From now on, I'm going to use the storage on this thing for stuff that can't stack. Well, schematics and stuff might be able to stack, but you get my drift. Although, for now, doing that's going to be much, much easier. Just need some stuff, come on. Now, where's the zombie, though? I hear a ton of noise. Okay, before I go outside, let's just mark the other fetch quest. Oh, that's a clear quest. I'm gonna have to kill the zombies anyway, so I'm just gonna go in there guns blazing and kill as many as possible. Man, I love it when they just destroy fences like that. Okay, so we even have a waterworks over here that we need to go loot. It's been a really long time since I've actually looted some of these POIs. Like, I used to loot them all the time, and now we barely ever get to. Yep, sleep over there, but at least you're just a crawler. I don't think we're going to need this medical over here. As you guys can see, like, all the light, uh, street lamps over here and all the cars are gone. Or oh, most of them. In pure eyes that I knew, oh no, I was going to just wake up way too many bosses and stuff. I didn't go for the cars, but they're just few and far apart. I'm still... Ooh, I need to get myself some honey or something. The fact that I'm still... Infected, I need to work on that. Okay, be careful, Jean. I forgot that in Darkest Falls, the zombies die a lot easier than here. Crack the book. Okay, that nurse can come to me. Do we have anything in the drone that might be able to help us right now? Anything like honey, antibiotics, nothing. <laughs> At least it's just a normal infection, not one of those ball ones again. I keep getting way too many of those infections. During the Day 21 horde, I got infected by another vulture again. It's not the nicest ways to go. Okay. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is just do this. Let you guys come to me. As long as I'm in the parking lot over here, I shouldn't fail the quest. Oh, you got close. See, even if I fire from the hip, sometimes it's just so easy to miss. Okay, he's at the back. At least this is just a level 1 clear quest, so it's not that tough. Oh, I didn't get this car over here. And the cars couldn't have respawned yet. Yeah, they couldn't have... Oh, nice. They could definitely not have respawned yet because, um, yeah, it's been too early or too lately that I went and wrenched them. I need to be careful. I'm taking way too many hits right now. It just takes one demolisher to get me from behind. For those of you who don't know, the demolishers actually knock you down like the Undertakers. If they knock you down, they kill you while you're backed out. You can't see anything. Okay, you guys can come for me while I quickly go around here. Still says clear area, so there must still be a zombie or two left. 
Hello? Are you feral? No, you're not. It's nice sometimes just to fight the weak ones. Drone, if you get in my way, I'm gonna be so mad. For those who don't know, the drones love getting in your way. Like uh, popping up right in front of you while you're busy with zombies. Come on. With all these schematics, at least I'm gonna make some cash selling them. Other than that, come on, I need food and stuff. I need more rather, I need the HD ones. If I can scrap the HD ones, that's gonna help. Hello. This is empty. Bam? Oh, damn it, just milk. If I can actually get lucky and get myself some more land rations, just one more, we can progress the cooking class. Then with that one, we can actually buy food as much as we want. We don't have to worry about food at all. It's a shame we can't range these shelves. You think it's possible because there's technology on here, but it's not the same. At least it gives us some resources. I don't know what we're going to need electrical parts and spare polymers for in this one. For example, I know in Darkest Falls you make special ammo with it. But at least we have stuff if we needed it later. I wonder if the big dem uh, demolition can actually fit inside. They should be able to crawl, right? The nice thing is they're too dumb to walk around, it seems. Nice. That just saved me some time. And now we go upstairs. Okay, so, uh, reload this one. I need to get back to the base after this and heal myself because, as you guys can see, not doing too well. Any vultures? Yeah, if I had an explosive or something, I could just throw it at them. I have TNT, but that's going to destroy some loot as well. The only thing that I did not range while going through the whole town, guys, is all the air conditioners. So I need way more electrical parts, mechanical parts, all that stuff. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Imagine a birthday cake zombie. You stand here, you hear the popping, you just think, oh, I just fell in. All of a sudden, a zombie hits you from behind. I think that would kind of suck. Okay. Ooh, nice. We need more of these HD ones. The more HD ones we get, the more of these blue notes we get. And the more blue notes, the closer we are to crafting our own schematics. I think I should do the sledgehammer thing first because it is level 5. And then the gun ones after that. But then again, we do need HD guns as soon as possible. There's books over there. I should probably go for the bookstore as well. But the problem is, it's not as great loot as, like, for example, Darkest Falls. If you guys have a cool episode, yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Comments and tips of feedback. What do you guys think about my progress, about um, just everything in total? Let me know down below. Um, I am a little bit scatterbrained, but as I wake up more during the morning, I should. Oh, crap -a -roo. Can I get the attention? Yeah, uh, I'll, ca I'll catch you guys next time as we kill these zombies. Enjoy. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time. A big thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.